this has been a real ah oh man fire ants oh kid you're kidding me fire ants ah ah so this is an interesting find for me this little old church out in the middle of the country it's a lutheran church 1870 so uh, that's what's the interesting thing about this church it's a lutheran church yeah so you can see where they put this modern brick in here and when they moved it here i don't know where they moved it from but i'm gonna see if i can find out This is where the original church was. Um, as you saw, actually the building was right about there. Somewhere right about there in that clearing. And this, and just for your information, this is the Lutheran symbol. And as I said earlier, there were not many Lutherans around, but for some reason in this area of Sumter County, this is Sumter County, uh, for those of you who remember President Carter? This is his home county. Plains is that way. Maybe it was that way. I don't know. This community had possibly three Lutheran churches in this county or in neighboring counties around 1870 to 80 or 1868, I think. 1868, this church was built, structure was built in 1872. And then they moved it, I think, around what, 10, 20 years ago. Anyway. All right, let's go see what we got here. This is a, a nice fence right here. This fence is modern fence. This thing's been upgraded. Let's take a look at the first one right here. It's sort of late in the day, so I don't know if I get good light or not. I just noticed something too when I came here. Look at all of the children. Wow, that's going to be something. Oh, those are child, children. Man, there's a lot of children up there for me. I can't see a thing because there's nothing on this side. Oh, it's reversed. We've seen this before. They reversed it and put it on the other side. Laura J. McGill, born August, is that 17? 17th, 1854. Died September 7th, 1911. And I cannot read that without my flashlight. You know what? I may have to get my flashlight. Okay, Laura J. McGill, born August the 17th, 1854, died September 7th, 1911. Her toils are past. Her work is done. She fought, fought the fight fight the victory is won i don't think i've ever heard the victory is won but that's an interesting thing like i said it's backwards you know usually they're around the other way so let's go take a look at another one let's swing right over here and look at this one okay so this is joel wise and here we go again same bible on the top uh, born June 28th, 1820. Died May the 26th, 1895. Our father has gone to a mansion. A mansion of rest. Is that it? To the glory, glorious land by the daily rest. And daily I don't see... Blessed? Is that what that bee. is? Blessed. It is. You're right. That is a bee. But That's why Robert sent you, because you're better than it's I am. Daily with an E, which is interesting. Yeah. That is. All right. Let's look at this one right here. I like this cross with this one right here. Samuel P. Wise. Look at the little flowers. Can you see little flowers on the side or leaf or whatever that is right there? Ivy. Born in... Newberry, Newberry County, South Carolina, April the 10th, 1851, died September 11th, 1881. And there's a little something right there that looks like it could be a cross. Uh, parted to, parted to 
Yeah, meet again. Was gentle. Gentle as the summer breeze. Isn't that something? Was gentle as the summer breeze. Let us, but. Left that? us. Left us Three. shall soon follow. And in heaven with joy may we greet thee. And look, there's the Bible again in the hand, holding the Bible. The Lutheran, uh, the Lutheran movement started when, uh, gosh, what's the guy's name? Martin Luther. Martin Luther. Martin Luther. In the Reformation. In the Reformation. Broke away from the Catholic yep. Church. They broke from the Catholic Church. Look at this other, look at this stonework right here. Can you see that from that sign or not? It's a leaf. Yeah. That's a good work on this stone right here. And there's something right across the top I just noticed. Can you make, make that out? Of, I can't make it out. I cannot make that out. Maybe it'll show up on the photograph if y'all can make it out. Martha Pauline, oh. daughter of, of, I can't make that out. D.I. and Camellia, A. Height. Height, A. Height. October, October 7th, 7, 1906. Oh, November, November 29th, 1906. Poor child. Lived only a month and two days. Yeah. A lot of children. So, commemorated with a lamb and the yep. tree cut and the tree short. So, this is neat right here on the back. In Jesus' arms, we laid her down a lovely jewel for his crown. Isn't that something special for this poor child that didn't live very long but got a lot of respect from their parents? And uh, just pan right over and look right here. Look, look right here next to this. Here's some more children. I wonder if this is the same family. Annie Laura. Uh, Annie Laura, daughter of D.S. I can't make and that. And M.P. Derek. Derek. Born, Born May 26th, 1883. 88 or 83? 83. 83, you're right. Died August 6th, 18. 94. 94. Nine years old. A lot of children would get diseases. Diseases would come to. Oh, yeah, look at the little. It's a lamb, I believe. It's a lamb, too, it is. And there's one right next to it. Let's just pan the camera right over here, real quick. We're running out of daylight. We're waiting late the day to get here. Now, that's not. Is that a lamb? That's a baby. That's a baby. It is a baby. It's a little baby it's laying on It's a little baby a, and something across the top. It's a cupid can, on the top. Can and, you make that across the top? What is this? Uh, Home? H O M A. Or home. home, yeah, home, home. Pauline, Melissa, daughter, daughter of, of H. I can't make it out. B S and M P Derek. Derek. Born December tenth, eighteen eighty. Died. Eighty two. I see the year, but I can't make October. out the date. October. Oh, there is a darn something. Oh, I can't make this out either. Okay, so this is probably the parents. Yeah. Mother, Derek. Martha Pauline, wife of David S. Derek, May 29th, 1846. November the 4th, died in 1925. And Father David S. Derek, August 27th, 1841. Died August the 4th, 1926. What does it say there? Jackson. Company G, 15th S. G. Regiment, Jackson. I wonder if he was a was a 40, 50, 60. He might have. This might have been a Civil War soldier, but he doesn't have a Civil War marker. Yeah, here. he would have been about 20. Or yeah, if he was born in 41. But he lived. He lived. So he lived a, a long life. Uh, could have been. It probably was a Civil War, but I don't see a Civil War monument here for him. And it could Jackson be that, Gore. I'll have to look that up, or some of y'all that watching can look up whatever Jackson Gore is, or Company G, 15th SG Regiment. Y'all look that up for us and make a comment down there in the bottom. Now this one here is again backwards, like we, like it's on the other side. Let me make this out. There's the hand pointing. To is heaven. that the chain? No. The chain holding the chain's broken. What is that? Chain links, isn't that something? Yeah, that's um, Mamie Arena. Let me give me a flashlight that'll work. Wife of W.R. Martin, Martin 
January the 9th, 1870, February the 12th, 1907. Where, where lies one who in, in this life, life was a kind, kind mother, a kind, kind wife, a something wife, maybe loyal. She, she, she was, was by many, many virtues blessed and piety among the best. Yeah. Okay, wow. This has got a really neat thing here. It's got a, a, oh, so the open like, gate. Yes, that's right. It's a gate. There's the a light. open Sugar. gate to heaven. Yeah. William Jennings, born November 20th, 1886 18... or 36? 86. Ah, uh, 86. Nope. 86. It's closed right there. Okay, it might so be. So it's 30. a 36. Yeah. 1836 died. died 1909. Oh, can you read that? It's upside down. Well, I'm upside down. That's All right, why. put the line on it. He died a... He died as he lived a Christ... With Man. Christ... Christian. A Christian. Christian. He died as he lived a Christian. Yeah. Huh. Let's see who... And that, that's why the open gate... Yep. Looks like there's an open Bible up there at the top. Yeah, right too. here. It's open. You're right. It's open and up right here. And at top at it rest. says at rest. Look at That's the work really... right here on these lines. Can you is it can yeah. I pick that up? These two columns right here. This big arch. The fence work. And the gate open. Okay, so this must be his wife. It says at rest. It's got the same style of open gate and fence. Can you see it right there? Mary. Mary. E, e, wife of William Jennings, born February 2nd, 1842 to May 28th, 1898. And I can't read that. She can. was too good, too gentle and fair to dwell in this cold world of care. Huh. That's pretty. Yeah. And right over here behind me, I want to think of the children. Let's look and see if these are the children. Infant. Son of J. L. L. and M. 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 Jennings. Jennings, born December 21, 1896, died June the 12th. January 12th, 1897. Seven. One to join the angel. Gone to join the angels. In the dove right there. Beautiful. Disease. Disease would get these kids in. in. Next one. Yeah. Charlie Kaufman, son of J. L. and M. M. Jennings, born April 1st, 1891, 91. died September 23rd, 1891. So lived about six months. Gone to join the angels. angels. Hattie M. Look right here. Can you well, see the, that little... It's just a little design. Yeah, it sure is. M. Daughter J. of M. William and M. and M. Jennings, born November 2nd, 1871. Yep. Died October 18th, 1875. So a four-year-old baby yeah. right there. Yeah. So this this one died earlier. Yeah. Huh. Did all their children die? Gosh, there's five behind me. Um, Pan right back around. One of the look. families I looked at had ten children. Look at this. How many of them have been laid to rest here? Another one right here. I'll just read it off. All right. Since we're running out of time. Mark S. Son of Same Jennings. Yeah. August 1876. 76. May have been a stillborn. No, May 31st. Oh, but it's the same year because they didn't yeah. change the year. So it lived yeah. two, two so and a half months. So the children didn't live long. And another one. This whole family, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight of them, maybe nine right here. Can you make it? There's nothing on this side. Oh, it's on this side. Lot S, son of W and M Jennings, born July 21, 1878, died June 18, 1879. Look at that cool little design right there on it. I don't know if you can make it out or not. This whole area right I'm going to back up and show you the one behind me does not have markers on it i'll show y'all as a backup i'll show y'all as a backup right here so this whole row 
appears to be the Jennings children. Look at all of them down there. Here's one that I didn't get. Let me see if I can get this one right here. I'm gonna hand the camera over to you. Daughter of, this is a different family. Kennedy. Kennedy. Born. B, L, C, and L, and L Kennedy, born September 20th, 1875, 70. died July 12th, 1879. And it's got the hand the pointing, hand pointing up. up. So this is a really neat old fence right here. See how they made that fence right there? It's iron work. This fence is standing too. There's the emblem of the fence company right there. Right there's the emblem of the fence company. Let's see if the old latch still works. Look at that. The latch still works well. It'll work if I, it won't work. If the photographer would take the camera, I would open it. Well, we may have to, we may have to, we may have to climb over the fence here. There you go. Takes two hands. That's right, okay. All right, this here is G.E. Hiller. That name sounds familiar. Didn't we take some notes from Mr. Hiller? In the America's Times Recorder of October 22nd, 1924, we found the obituary of G.E. Hiller, funeral at Botsford Lutheran Church, 85 years of age. A resident of Plains, born in Newberry, South Carolina, came to area in 1870, settling near Pleasant Hill in Carroll County, married Hattie Wise. They had 10 children. He was a Confederate veteran and a charter member of the Lutheran Church of Foxford. But something that I notice here, you don't, I haven't seen a Confederate um, monument here yeah. or anything. I'm wondering, did the Lutherans try to not uh popularize their involvement in the civil war that's a good question so i'm wondering who this is right next to him here could this be his wife maybe let's look and see maddie hattie hattie a wife of yep george e she preceded Hiller. him in death she died June 19th, 1901. June the 12th. They got June they the 12th. June 12th. Okay. Yeah. Born September the 5th, 1846. And there's something, an epitaph written down here, and I don't know if I can read it. I may have to back up and read that one. It was in the Dawson News yeah. of 1901, and it said that she passed away at her home near Cottondale after several months of illness her remains were taken to Botsford in Sumter County okay so this is a hand holding the flowers right here holding down and then there's something down here at the bottom which I don't know if we can read it we might be able to a precious one from us has gone a voice we loved is stilled a place is vacant in our home which never can be filled and that's a common Hattie common Hattie. Now, I wonder who this is over on this other side right here. Charlie A. Hiller, July the 4th, 1880. Must be his son, July 29th, 1902. Dearest loved one, we have laid thee in, in the, the peaceful, peaceful graves embrace, embrace, but thy memory will be cherished, cherished as something. We see thy heavenly face. Oh, yeah. Or look, when at this, see. look at this work right here on this stone. It has oak leaves. Yeah, it's oak leaves. So here's another one right here, which I don't know if I can get it or not. Mary A., daughter of G. E. and W. Hiller, September. You know what? I can't make that out. September 30th, died November 1874. Is it like it says and right there? Hmm. Where? Right there. I can't make that out. But Daughter look at of G.E. and H. Hiller, born September and died. That's it. And died November 19th, 10th, 1870. And got the dub right there. All right. And then there's about. Look at the lichen on that. Yeah. Yeah, right there. That's a yeah. Good piece. Sure is. All right, here we got another, uh, is that an orchid? It's some type of a flower. G.E. Hiller, born October 12th, 
1887, Dad. May 1st, 1889. Possibly. 1889. Let me look at this one over here. Hattie. Born March 10th, 1890. Died May the 20th, 1890. Didn't live very long. These children didn't live very long. Is that right? 1890. 18, that's what it looks like to me. Okay. And here's another one. That. Rena May. Daughter of G and H.A. Hiller. A different style of stone. So between, between that one and this one, let's see. Born and different style of writing too. So probably another stonemason. Uh, born, uh, May 20th, 1886, died... 10 years old. May the 20th, 1895, a... 96. 96, I can't see the a eight. little, A little time on earth she spent till God for... Her, his angel sent. But a different style of stone than the other child has. And... A different time and a different style of uh of engraving there now this, this one big one here one on the other end. so who is this here so this is a wise so this may be a grandchild nope yeah 1821 okay. a grand a grand father. what's the first name jengi j-e-n-g-y jen Gen G Wise. An, an in law or something of some kind. Born August 17th. So that's where the. Could be the in law. Could be the. Could be the mother in law. Mother in law. Jenny, could be the mother. Yeah. Jenny C Wise. Jen, uh -huh. no. Jen. We'll have to figure it out. Okay. Date. 1821. Died. July. 1888. Huh. Or 83. 83. It's a much 83? taller stone. 86. And it's but really it, neat it's work. got the oak leaves that matches oak the one on the other end. So wait, let me do it this. It sure one. does. That one's wise. Yeah. This one might just be related to. Those are all the footstones. See the footstones down through there, and this is all fenced into its own little family plot right here, and there's only two. Could could have been purchased at the same time and saved for later on. Possibly. Possibly. Let's go look at one more. Okay, this is John J, son of S N and M Bow or Ball. That's a R. Raw? Roch R A U C H Born October 26, 1876. Died May the 19th, my birthday, 1878. A little flower of love. And here's the hand holding the cross. A child. Look at the bug on top. Stink. Bug. Uh. Stink bug. bug. That's a wheel bug. Is that a wheel bug? No. Stink bug. Mm, it's a bug. Anyway, okay, let's look at this one. Maddie. Maddie M. M. Roach. Roach died. September, September 24th, 1881. Could have been stillborn. Could have been stillborn. Different style of stone one than. One date. And different engraving than that one there, the other child. And so far, one, two, three. This is the fourth child right here. Mary Gintzy. Is that Gintzy? Daughter of, yeah, Mary Gintzy. Uh, S N and M M. Rouch, or however you want to pronounce it. Could be Rouch. 1886. May the 18th, 1887. So one, two, three, four. Four children here. One, one, two, three, four, five, six children in that one. The other family over there with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight children. A lot of children. A lot of children died young around here. Let's look at this one right here. Ah, oh, this is a neat one here. It's broken. Yeah, this is the Joseph, J Joseph E., son of Joseph and... Caddy, is that Gaddy or Caddy? Right there. C. Caddy. Hiller. Born mm. September 13, 1877. Died November the 5th, 
1878. And there's the little dub right there. Right. So that one, and this one has no marker at all, but you can see where the bricks are laid out. Headstone's probably either been taken, removed, damaged. Another child. See how small it is? And then right here, another child with a headstone that's been damaged. And there's nothing on the headstone. Oh, the top part got broken off. It's broken off. off. It could be buried in the ground or something like that. Yeah, yeah, it could be. Let's look at the next family plot. We'll just, now we've seen this kind of fence before. This is really common. This is a good fence We're right here. It way. is. It's, we've seen it several times. Let's go inside this gate down here and see if we can get in this gate. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah, it's really neat. Let's see this. There's the little Stuart JT. I can the Stuart Iron and something other company, Cincinnati, Ohio. Cool. Yeah. Okay. We gotta go in here and look around. Mother. Ah, so mother. Mother. Let me see. Well, look how big this stone. Is. One of the largest ones. In it. But all the engraving is on this side over here. And the other side. Yeah. It might have engraved. Looks like it has it had engraving on maybe four sides. You think so? No. Right here it is. Here, you hand me the camera since you're that way too far away. Is this? A lot of times they had these flats so you could put an urn or something up here. Mary oh. Melissa Wise, wife of Philip Jennings, February 25th, 1843. Died June the 14th, 1917. I wonder if this is the husband right here. Does this say father right there? Let me see. Yep, that's it. Father right there. Yeah. Let's read this side. Here we go. Philip. Philip Jennings. February the 19th, 1846. Died May the 14th, 1894. Nothing on that side. And there's the family name right there, Jennings. Here we go. This one here says Joseph E. Jennings. Hand going up. Yeah, the hand right there. Born October. Yeah. 9th, 1870. Yeah. Died November 12th, 1871. You know what? Yeah. Budded. Oh. Budded. I think it's. One of those budded too soon. On Let me look and see. That bloomed in heaven. A lot of children, young children, passed away in this Lutheran congregation, and I don't, I don't know why. Infant son of Jennings. No name for the son. Another child died. So now this is what I'm thinking. This is what I'm thinking now. Some type of hereditary. Does it, yes, there there were people that every child would die, and it depends on their genetics. The rest of this plot here is empty. It doesn't show anything, but that doesn't really mean that they weren't buried here, but we'll see. So let's see if I can look at this one right here. Okay, this is little Pete, son of uh, Kennedy. This is a Kennedy. Make that much out. And 18. I can't make out the day. Is it 1880? It's it's got a lot of anyway. We'll take a picture. Yep, maybe y'all can see it better in that photograph than I can. There's also two other Kennedys right over here, which I just walked past. Picture that. Yeah, but it flashes when I do that with the light in them. The way the, the way the camera's set up, it flashes real bad. Look at these two right here. Now these are more modern like to me. M.M. M. Kennedy, born August 15th, 1858, died August 15th, 1896. Right next to her is Jesse Joseph Kennedy. Now, I thought Kennedy was a Scottish name or a Irish name, but anyway, 1852 to 1921. All right, so this is Lot, husband of... Mary Jennings, born August 31, 1828, died maybe 26, 1899. Uh, brother or something. Yeah, brother probably of this Jennings. This must be his wife, Mary, wife of Lot Jennings, born August 2nd, 1829, died October 
possibly ninth, 1913. She lived a long time. And these children here, these two children are his, are their children that passed away young. So this particular gentleman right here, I really do like this stonework right here. I really do like it. So that's the Jennings family right there. See if I can get that through the fence. Can they get it through the fence? There you go. Let's go take a look on the other side of the cellar. Gamilla Addie, wife of Samuel P. Wise. January 11, 1857. February 15, 1947. She lived a long time. Bless her soul. She lived a good life. I bet you. I bet she really did. Fanny, Eddie. <sighs> November 16th, 1834. May the 18th, 1916. She also lived a long time. And here's George, Eddie. February 26th, 1814. August the 5th, 1877. Eddie. A-D-D-Y. Father and father. This must be the children right here next. In the next one. W.P. Addy. 1861. It doesn't say. August 26, 1861. Departed October 24th, 1936. Lived a good life. At rest. Hmm, don't know who this is. Oh, now here's a good name. This is a German name right here. Hermann. Herman Eddy, July the 25th, 1903, May the 10th, 1937, gone but not forgotten. And our mother, our mother, let's give her, look at the work on this one here, the dove, Rosa, Lula, Addy, November 24th, 1866, July, 25th, 1949. At rest. At rest. Now right through here in this cemetery, you see a lot of open spaces, but I'm assuming that there were others laid to rest here. There's a base to a, a grave right there. Let me walk back over here and look at this one. Oh, here's a small child. See the small child here? So many children. So many children in this small Lutheran cemetery okay Sarah Ellen Johnson January 6 1927 March the 10th 1927 she did not live very long but look here what someone did oh man can y'all make it out I may have to get my researcher over here to help me with this one Okay, I'm trying to make this out right here. And so what do you think it says? Johnson, however, what do we notice right here? The J is backwards. J is backwards. John H. John Son. And I just knocked that stone loose. It belongs right there, I think. No, it's a John Son. It's not a stone. Backwards. Dex, dexlexia, whatever. Is that what it's called? Okay. Let's look at this. Wow, look at this here. Here's another one. Here's another one right here. Look at this child right here. Infant. Infant. Son of. And I can't. A A Addy. I can't make it out. With Jesus. I just know what's another infant. So many children. Oh, and right here. Look, another child right here. Yeah, all of these. Another child right here. Yeah. Isn't that something? Here's another one. No marking on it at all. Just another slab right here. Another child. So one, two, three, four right there. So many children. I think there's an indention right here, but I could be mistaken. Here's an adult. Uh, Lucius Oscar Klinkscale. Now that is a German name, isn't it? Klinkscale? I think it is. July the 1st, 1874, February the 7th, 1968. Lived a long, long time right there. Right next to this one here is another child, which I need to get a close-up on this one if I can. I can't make it out. It's getting late in the day. 
but I do know died March of 1878 and a lamb and is that Hilly was the last name? Anyway, another child. This is the Wise family right here. Mother Francis Coggle Wise, Coggle Wise, 1857. 1942 father george calhoun wise april 17 1844 may the 25th 1898 a very neat stone right here which i doubt if i can doubt if i can get this one because of the it's getting so dark or a wise is all i can read is that wife of gc wise born I see a 39, I think, or 83, and died in 75, and I cannot make that out. I'm sorry, but my flashlight, flashlight that Robert lent me, quit working. And here is a daughter, I love these stones, these small stones, these lambs right here. Daughter of G.C. and R.A. Wise, died September the 6th, 1871, aged one day. Another child. So many children. So many children here. Another child right here also. Let's see if we can get this. Infant son of Jake WNR in Murray. Murray. Mm, I've heard it pronounced Murray and Murray. December 26, 1907, 1908. Oh. In heaven there is a one angel more in heaven there is one angel more 1908 so many so many children a lot of children in this in this small really small cemetery here's a footstone but no headstone jp h looks like no headstone here a brick probably bordering what which could have been infant son of S A and L J Marquette died January 1884. And then one more right here, which I don't know if I've already done this or not, but I can't even make that one out. Died 1876. Looking at a child to me. As small as it is. Hope y'all enjoyed this. I sort of enjoyed it, but it really bothered me. So many children. So many children, you know. And I want to thank Robert for letting me use the camera again and sending the technician with me that knows how to run the thing. And this uh, is this has been an interesting story. This church was sat right there, and at some time someone restored the church building, moved it to the other side of the county, actually. And like I said earlier, if, if it's in there, uh, if not, I'll tell you now. There's probably, there's not too many Lutherans around at that time, but for some reason they came. I don't know why they came around that time of the year after the Civil War. I guess things opened up around here. And we're going we're gonna to close it out here. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and comment. And this is the other Robert. And I will see you on the other Sidestep Adventure. Thank you.